in India, the marriages, they are between two families. So the parents guide their children, and that is the work of a matchmaker. The clients, they want everything. Someone charming? Equal to my pay or higher. Adjustment. You have to be attracted to the person, and the person has to be good. I know a boy. Would she want to consider him? The biggest moment in any woman's life is the day she gets married. I'm single. <laughs> now my father has decided to fix this. My dumb dumb self almost had an arranged marriage. Um, there have been times when relatives have questioned my sexuality. It's offensive to me because I'm bisexual. In Gujarati families, when a girl turns like 20, everyone panics. <laughs> there are there are a few LGBTQIA plus folk that haven't come out to their families because it's difficult and they'd rather not deal with the pressure. You know, all my cousins, they were all getting married at like literally like 19, 20. Recently, I turned 28 and the calls that I get from family, it's like, happy birthday, how are you doing, when are you getting married? You need to learn how to be flexible, what is this yoga competition? Hai? I remember one such date, he asked me that, uh, what are my thoughts on having kids? And I was like, you know, if I feel right, I mean, I don't, I'm not opposed to it. And he was like, uh, people have kids, so obviously women have to take a back seat, right? Like, there's just so much family pressure. So he was like, so can I talk to your dad after two and a half, three weeks? I was thinking, look, he is cute, you know, he has a future. You've been a pain in your parents' And literally a day before this engagement thing is supposed to happen, he talks to me and he's like, so you're gonna lose some weight before the wedding, right? Huh? <laughs> the mother of like a prospective like alliance she called up and she basically like started interviewing me and she was like can you dance can you sing a line of a song one of the guys i spoke to who said that like he would want his parents to come on the honeymoon with us and i was like boy no i like we're done here <laughs> This is how we oppress female voices to a large extent. Like we can laugh about it and sort of be like arranged marriage is a light topic. No. Every week I am speaking to young women from Singapore, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, Malaysia, who literally tell me on a weekly basis, I hate myself. I'm I'm ugly because I'm not this ideal. They love their parents and not to have an arranged marriage means my parents will disown me and that's a lot of pressure. With women, there's an added dimension, the intersectionality of financial viability. To go against your father means risking the disapproval and, and not being taken care of. When you look at the structure of arranged marriages, it is a patriarchal structure that's deeply misogynist and it favors men. He was not into it, I was not into it and our families were completely like orthodox and they did not know who we actually are as people. That's what came as the common thing that we both hated our surroundings. It did lead um, to marriage. I kept my point across straight away. I was unapologetic me and we both clicked on the same lines of being um, open and being free, being ourselves.